With the car safely off the ground, you will need to remove the engine tray. There are six 8mm bolts, red arrows, holding the tray on. The rear two also help hold the transmission tray. If you are going to leave the transmission tray on, remove the rear two bolts first, lower the engine tray, reattach the transmission tray bolts, then remove the remaining four bolts on the engine tray. With the tray removed, you will see the radiator drain plug on the lower left front of the car. Place a catch bucket or tray under the plug and use a large flathead screwdriver to open the drain plug. Yellow arrow. The fluid will come out slowly at first, so open the tank cap to break the vacuum and help speed things up. The fluid drains out a small spigot, yellow arrow, facing rearward and not through the red plug. From the top of the tank, you will need to remove the 10 millimeter nut, red arrow, on the upper right side. The tank sits in a plastic slot, yellow arrow, in the firewall that helps support it. You can see where the overflow nipple broke off our tank, indicated by the green arrow. Remove the right side air intake to give you more room to work on the hoses. Compress it in towards the engine, red arrow, and remove it from the front air inlet. With the air inlet removed, you can now pull the auxiliary water pump, green arrow, from its mount in the tank. It just pulls straight out. Remove the coolant level sensor plug, yellow arrow, along with the wires for the pump and the sensor from the bracket. Blue arrow on the front of the tank. Next, you want to remove the hose connected to the bottom of the tank, red arrow. If the hose is original, it will have a compression clamp on it. Simply squeeze it together, and you may have to use a small screwdriver to help break the seal between the hose and tank. Be prepared to catch the small amount of coolant that will spill out. Pull the tank straight up. It may take a little force as there is a small rubber grommet, red arrow, it sits in at the bottom. Take the old tank to your bench and if you were not having problems with the level sensor, remove the old one by turning it 45 degrees and install it in the new tank. Here is the new tank installed. I like to install new hose clamps as I find the factory clamps difficult to work with in tight spaces. Do not forget to refill the coolant. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.